Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video. Today's video is a Disney project, not just a Disney project, but this is something you might put together when you're planning a Disney trip. Are there any other better types of trips? I don't think so. Uh, my family has a Disney trip coming up and so I've made a countdown uh, calendar. This is made out of wooden blocks. You see these all over the place on Instagram, but they're so simple to make, so I thought I'd show you guys how I put mine together. The great thing about this project is you can use it for any sort of thing you're counting down to, maybe a wedding, a birthday party, any type of trip, a cruise, whatever. It doesn't just have to be Disney, even though Disney, I think, is the best thing to count down to. This is super simple. I used just a few projects. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. I'm starting here with a wood box. I got this at Michael's in their wood craft section. It's not that important what piece you use for this part of the project. This is gonna be the stand for our cubes. So use anything that you can find. A piece of plywood would work just fine. Uh, all you really wanna make sure to do is you want to ensure that the cubes you purchase for this project fit side by side on this platform. So I'm giving it a coat of really simple craft paint. I'm using purple. This is that 50 cent craft paint you can get at Walmart. Uh, really easy to find Walmart, Target, Michaels, and it goes on really easily. It dries very, very fast. That's why I like using it. I did just two thin coats here of the purple. And now I'm also gonna put the purple on two sides of my two cubes. I also got these wooden cubes at Michaels. Michaels always ha has these cubes on hand. Uh, use a 40% off coupon. Michaels always has those and get some cost savings, but these should be very easy to find. Uh, and just like with the base, I'm doing two thin coats. I'm using three colors for this project and that's why I'm doing two sides of the purple on these cubes. There's six sides on a cube. So since I've got three colors, I'm doing two sides per color. Uh, next, I'm doing this hot pink color, also two thin coats. Um, two sides of each cube I'm doing in pink. And then the third color I'm gonna use is sort of a tangerine orange. I don't know why, but these colors kind of make me think of the handy helpers from the Mickey and the Roadster Racer show. So that's why I picked it. I think they're really cheerful colors, but obviously use any colors you like. You could use red and black if you wanted to do sort of a Mickey Mouse theme. You could do pink and white and black if you just wanted to do Minnie Mouse. Use whatever you like. I thought this was really fun. And because these wood pieces are sort of unfinished wood, it's soaking up that paint really easily. It's going on nice and smooth and then drying very, very fast. This could not be easier. And the order that you put the colors on the cubes doesn't matter so much. Just kind of pick your sides, paint your colors. The only thing that really is gonna matter in this project is uh, how you put out your numbers so that you have enough numbers to make all the different numbers you want for one to 30 days. Uh, and we're gonna get to that in a minute and I'm gonna lay it out for you. And there's my cat in the background, if you're wondering. Uh, I have two different cats and they are my constant helpers during these projects. And I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna use sticker letters to make the writing on my platform and the numbers of the countdown. The sticker letters I picked up at Michael's uh, because I couldn't find anything that I liked when I went to the Dollar Tree this day, but normally I would buy these letter stickers at the Dollar Tree. They always have stuff like this on hand. And I'm writing out the words days to Disney. And you'll see here, I started in the middle. And that's my trick to make sure I get words centered when I'm doing projects like this. I sort of count how many letters and spaces I've got. And then I start from the middle and work my way out. Just a little trick so that you can get things centered without having to measure or anything like that. No one has time for that. And like I said, these did come from Michaels, but Dollar Tree absolutely almost always has letters like this. The number stickers that I'm gonna use, I did get from the Dollar Tree. They're really, uh, really great quality stickers. They're vinyl stickers. I use them in projects all the time. They almost always have them. Gotta love Dollar Tree for simple craft projects like this. And like I said in the intro, you could use a countdown like this to count down to anything that you like. So this is where you would put what you're counting down to. Let's say you're counting down to your wedding, you put to wedding day. Uh, and now I'm gonna put some little circle stickers on the top here. These are like little label stickers you get in the office section of a shop. I was actually looking for white and I couldn't find white. So I got these colors because it went with my scheme. 
but I think stickers are a wonderful way to decorate projects like this. They go on quick and easy. You're not hand drawing anything, but it gives a little more texture and color and dimension. And who doesn't think of Minnie Mouse's bow when they see polka dots like this? Really cute. A stencil would also be a great way to add some pattern to a project like this. Just play with it, get creative, use what you like. And now I'm putting the numbers onto the cubes. The most important thing to keep in mind is on one cube, you want to put numbers one through six. And on the second cube, you want to put numbers zero, one, two, seven, eight, nine. So I'll say that again. On one cube, you want to put numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. And on the second cube, you want to put numbers zero, one, two, seven, eight, nine. And if you do that, you'll be able to make all the numbers from one to 30. It doesn't matter on each cube where you put each number. It just matters that the certain cubes have those specific numbers. If you wanted to make a countdown that was higher than 30 days, you could make extra cubes. That would be totally easy. Just pick up a third cube and you could put your extra numbers on there. But I think a 30 day countdown is just perfect for a Disney trip. You know, if you did any higher than that, it might get a little tiresome for a toddler. Um, she might get a little concerned about when are we going on this trip? So I think 30 is perfect, but you can customize it. Make it even bigger if you like. You could even do a year countdown with three cubes. And I'm just eyeballing it to make sure my numbers are centered. I'm not doing anything complicated like measuring. These are vinyl stickers, so they go on easy and you can move them around if you don't like where they are. And here is the finished product. I think it is so, so colorful and cheerful. We're gonna put this out in our kitchen so we can see how many days we have left to our trip. That's it, super simple. I love how this came out. My daughter and I are gonna have so much fun turning the blocks each night to count down to our trip. Plus, I have a ton more Disney projects that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button and you can see every single project we have coming up. I do super simple DIYs. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are planning any fun trips in this new year. Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm ever going to take my Christmas tree down. Who knows, it'll be a fun game. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.